should have seen it coming. The first sign of an unlikely political love affair blossoming in Washington came at the beginning of this year, when the president bestowed a little smooch. Now things have really heated up. Last week, it seemed no one at the White House could stop talking about the object of their affections. And uh, the fine U.S. senator named Joe Lieberman. Senator Lieberman is right. You have a few uh, within the Democratic Party, like Senator Lieberman, who understand the stakes that are involved in Iraq. I would admire a politician not as much as basically your run-of-the-mill garden variety Republican, but as far as Democrats go, like Lieberman, who apparently does want to defend America and fight the war on terrorism. He's the one facing a primary fight. Right. You know, there is talk about him maybe bolting to a third party and that there, this, the, the, the seeds are there for a third party movement. Do you buy that? I think he should just come all the way and become a Republican. He wouldn't be our best Republican, but at least he'd fit in with a party that wants to defend the country. Yeah. I need to know yes or no. Yes. Do you want my public support? <laughs> Do you want my endorsement? Do you think that hurts your re-election efforts? Do you want me to come out in opposition of you? I want to do what's in your best interest. You got to tell me yeah. what you want me to do. Well, you know, it's good of you to ask me in private like this. <laughs> I'm just... thinking, I'm thinking, Hannity conservatives for it, Lieberman, yeah. and I'll do a big fundraiser in in yeah. Connecticut. Let me just say, I, I I appreciate your friendship and I appreciate your support, <laughs> really. You so you want my endorsement? What could I if you, if you support me? Look, I've always gotten elected by people from all parties. And now with the Internet, they got the smear machine. You don't play their game, you don't get any money, and you get smeared. Look what's going on in the Lieberman in Connecticut. They're after Lieberman. Their own Democrats are after him. That's fear. So money and intimidation means that these people have to pander the far left. And I think that is what happened. The money is there on the far money left. Money and intimidation. And so people like Lieberman are getting squeezed out, and he's thinking about running as an independent now because there's no room for him well, he in a moderate Democratic party. He shouldn't. Party. He'll win on the Democratic ticket in Connecticut. Laura? Thanks, David. Very interesting. Uh, Joe Lieberman uh, has been more of a traditional Democrat. In the old days, the Democrats were interested in the United States, in, in America. Uh, they weren't, you know, the slaves to any... Uh, far out ideology. Political analyst Steve Gill joins me now. Joe Lieberman does not hate George Bush enough for the left in Connecticut. That's why they want to throw him out. And when the only test of, of your loyalty to a party now is how much do you hate the president and his enemies are our enemies, you have what we seem to be seeing, which is the left being willing to even align themselves with terrorists because, well, Bush is against the terrorists, so we must be with them. Uh, Bush is for Israel, so we must have to oppose Israel. And it has really pushed them way off the cliff on the left. Bill Buckley had a column in the New York Sun and Buckley is largely responsible for uh, uh, Joe Lieberman being in the United States Senate. Is Buckley and, and some buddies of his at National Review got so fed up with Lowell Weicker that they started Buck Pack. And Buck Pack was a political action committee that raised funds to actually support Lieberman because they were just tired of Weicker. So Buckley is now is upset at the way the Democrats are treating Joe Lieberman. It was just six years ago he was their vice presidential nominee, and now the Democrats are throwing him overboard, throwing him under the bus. Hey, welcome to Vent with Michelle Malkin. Lamont, who is running in the Connecticut Democrat primary against Senator Joseph Lieberman because he thinks George W. Bush is wrong, is running a new ad that paints Lieberman as a clone of the president. Apparently, the nut roots guy can't stand the fact that there's still one Democrat who actually stands by his vote to authorize that war. Most other Democrats have turned tail and blamed it all on Karl Rove's mind tricks. And, you know, what's, what's happening with Lieberman is that the Democratic base is trying to run him out of the United States Senate. And they've got this, this uh, media tycoon who has literal, literally no political experience whatsoever, uh, we've played audio sound bites of some debates that they've had. It's clear this guy is just mouthing phrases he's been taught by the lunatics of the left-wing fringe. Well, when I look for analysis of internal Democratic Party politics, I go straight to conservative columnist David Brooks. Here's his take on the Lieberman-Lamont race. Quote, what's happening to Lieberman can only be described as a liberal inquisition. 
He's also agitated and angry, and anybody would be, by the vitriolic and vicious attacks he's withstood for the past two or three years, which can't be repeated on television. He's been the subject of an Internet assault, which is, which is unprecedented. So he is a guy who's pretty energized. Politics. Bill Clinton had a great line years ago. He said, the American public would rather be strong and wrong than weak and right. Well, obviously mm -hmm. the Republicans believe they're wrong on the, they're, that they're right on the war and that they're strong. Democrats now put themselves in a very vulnerable position because, by definition, they are beating up on Joe Lieberman for taking a tough and strong national security position. That makes them look weak. The Democratic Party, if it's to be the anti-war party and leave nothing open to discussion, puts itself in a very tenuous position and opens itself to the Republican criticism that they're a bunch of cut and runners. Hmm. All right, Carl Cameron, thank you so much. Lieberman has lately had to endure plenty of attacks in the blogosphere. Some label him Senator Fuddy Duddy. Others call him President Bush's favorite Democrat. On the other hand, Connecticut House Republican Christopher Shays says he plans to vote for Lieberman, who's more popular among state Republicans than Democrats. Later, standing outdoors in warm spring sunlight, Lieberman's broad smile vanishes when he's told other Democrats are calling him Republican light. You know, Joe Lieberman has been good for Connecticut. We just don't realize, people in the state don't realize what a powerful influence he is. He has been good for Connecticut because he's a senior member, he's a person with very great influence, and he's seen as a thinker. Good. Uh, the bad news is that, that Ned Lamont represents, if he wins, represents a triumph in the Democratic Party for the MoveOn.org, Howard Dean, Daley Koss, Michael Moore, left wing of the Democratic Party, which is not only you know, bad on foreign policy, but on globalization, but is also just as nasty and mean uh, on the left as uh, Rush Limbaugh and Michael Savage and the, those other hot dogs on the right. Um, meaner. Me meaner. Uh, much well, in look. some cases, yes. You know what because... Lieberman's problem is, and, and I hope he gets reelected. You know what his problem is? He is connected to Bush. He supported Bush's Iraq policy. It's the Bush link that drives those lefties crazy. They hate Bush so much. Our... Well, they have credibility only because they, there is a two-party system in this country. There are some people who hold their noses and vote. Look at Joe Lieberman is a responsible Democrat. Yeah. Well, I'm back with Democratic strategist Jenny Backus and former advisor to the president. Ed Rogers. But look at the, the there numbers are no in the place for Republicans. Joe Lieberman in the Democrat I Party. Know. I don't believe how you can talk Joe like Lieberman, no. come it's, home it's, to the this Republican is Party. Road please. Here to talk please. Like that. You, and you want to take that back? No. Pat no. Buchanan is I against this war. It. I want to reinforce it. You're not Joe, really, there's no place for Joe Lieberman in the Democrat Party. Uh, the come home. A, it's a Democrat are you going to no, jump in there and be one of these Republicans for Lieberman? No. Absolutely. You are. Joe Lieberman, come to the big tent. No, you're going Joe Lieberman is running for re-election to the Senate. He's in a primary fight, may lose, and has said that if he loses, he might well run as an independent. He supported you staunchly on Iraq, and Iraq is the major issue in that campaign, mm. in the primary. Would you support him if he ran as an independent? Uh, for, for, first, the Democrats have to sort out who their nominee is going to be, and that's going to be up to the Democrats. And the rest of it's hypothetical. But he said he would run as an independent if he would. Well, you know, he also uh, has said he's going to win his primary. I know you like him. Uh, you're you trying, to get, him you're, you're trying to get me to give him a pol political kiss, which may be his death. <laughs> <laughs> you hugged him before the State of the Union, right? I don't agree with uh, Mr. Murtha. I think he's wrong about that. I think it would be a very problematic policy. The Iraqi prime minister came out uh, just this past couple of days and made the same point, and so did Joe Lieberman. But here's the question, Wolf. Do Democrats stand with Joe Lieberman, who says we're making progress, we have to win this victory, or do they stand with Dean, who says we can't win the war, with Kerry, who says... Uh, who compared American troops to, to terrorists, and with Nancy Pelosi, who's adopted retreat and defeat. Look to Do you think they might put together a, uh, a bipartisan ticket next time and put Lieberman on it? <laughs> Again, I'm not, I'm not going to predict that. <laughs> I'm Christopher Shays, and I approve this message. I'm Nancy Johnson, and I approve this message. I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message. Yes, I've looked around the hall, and it seems to me that my opponent in the Democratic primary hasn't made it here tonight. <laughs> but I'll tell you, if he were here, he'd be a bit confused because of the company I'm keeping up on this stage.